What's up you guys? So we are in the thick of winter time, so I figured I'd bring to you some of my winter favorites. These are going to be some things that I either have picked up for the winter, that I've been wearing during the winter, or things that I uh, just have during the winter time. The first thing I want to talk about is something that I can always talk about, and that is a pair of shoes. Uh, I recently picked these up for Black Friday. These are a pair of full brogue, long wing um, sh leather shoes. They're from the brand Selected Ohm. I believe, if I am not mistaken, I probably am. I believe they're like a Swedish brand or something like that. I don't know. I know for a fact they're in Europe. Um, but I got these off of ASOS. When it comes to brogued shoes, a long wing brogue for me is something that I find completely timeless and completely classic. I don't like the half brogue kind of shoes or anything like that. Not only that, it's super versatile. I know a lot of people think that the long wing is pretty casual. It is. I would love to wear these with denim. I love to wear them with chinos, but I also love to dress them up and wear them with a suit. Um, it doesn't really matter because if you like it, you like it. So they're very versatile and I wear them with pretty much anything and I've been wearing them nonstop since I got them. So another Black Friday pickup is going to be this right here. It is just a merino wool, light gray turtleneck sweater. I have not had one of these. I've been looking for one ever since I've started getting into turtlenecks, and I finally found one on Black Friday. This is from ASOS as well, but I'll have a link down there for you. But yeah, just a traditional, very classic, light gray merino wool turtleneck. You can't go wrong with it. So it's not going to be a thick fabric, but it's also not going to be a very thin fabric. It's going to be right in the middle. You can wear it as a standalone piece, or you can wear it with a suit. You can wear it underneath an overcoat. You can do a lot of things with turtlenecks, and that is why I love them so much. So wintertime obviously gets cold. I personally love to take very hot showers. I like the steam. I love everything in it. But I've been using a new body wash, and it's actually this one right here from the Dollar Shave Club. It is from their Wanderer line, and I have to say I am very, very happy with this. So the Dollar Shave Club is a subscription service and they actually want to give you guys one of these Wanderer body products for free as well as a one month trial of their executive razors for only a dollar and free shipping. So that's pretty good if you guys or anybody that needs to shave and wants to try one of their body products, I would take advantage of this opportunity while you can. After the first month, it's only a few more dollars, but if you want to try this and take advantage of it, you have to go to the link in the description below. That's the only way you're going to be able to do it. Not only that, but I know you guys are super big on sulfate-free things, and the Wanderer body product line is sulfate-free. So, you know, like when you like wash your body and like with a bar of soap, it gets really sticky and like your skin gets really dry. Sulfate-free means that it's going to be super smooth and super refreshing. Um, so I was actually really, really blown away with that. It smells like I would say you are in a forest that's got a little herby scent to it. It's very, very manly, very musky, and I, I have been using it every day that I shower. So there's... I'm gonna need some more soon. <laughs> Another very wintry thing that I've been wearing every day that I go out is this cologne right here. I'm not lying to you guys, this is my favorite thing I've ever put on my body, ever. This is the, my most favorite cologne I've ever used in my entire life. This is from a little brand called Fleur. I don't know if you've heard of them or not. Um, I wanna do a full review of like their cologne and their line, so let me know if you guys want that because I thoroughly, thoroughly love this brand with all my heart. This Everything that they have smells amazing. I'm actually, I don't even really care. I'm gonna do a video on the whole entire line because I love it. Anyways, I digress. This is the Moab scent. This is basically, when I think of it, I think of it as a spicy cinnamon. It's very manly. The cinnamon is something that I just, it's like one of those cinnamon candles that like just reminds you of like the holidays and everything like that. It smells so good. And I went on a date the other day and she absolutely loved this smell. Um, so I'm going to keep using this for as long as I have it for sure. So next up is a piece that I picked up during the Black Friday extravaganza once again. This is a beautiful, beautiful overcoat from the brand Hevo. I do a lot of my designer shopping um, on the website Farfetch. It's a really good, like, discounted designer site that I found, and I just bought a lot of stuff from it. So this is just a speckled overcoat. It's, an, it's got orange, black, and brown in it. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's virgin wool. Um, it's an amazing, amazing look. I need to go to the tailor just because the sleeves are a little long and a little baggy, but other than that, it fits like a glove. Um, so, oh, I'm just so happy with it. It goes, it has the autumn feel to it, it has the winter feel to it with the colors and the palette. It's just something that I'm going to be wearing with a lot of suits that I have, a lot of pants that I have. Just, uh, I'm just very happy with this. 
Next up might be a little out of the box for some of you guys, but I saw it and I really, really wanted it. It looked really cool on the model and it is a cape. I actually have a picture of it right here that I'll show you guys on my Instagram. I just posted it a few days ago. Um, this is actually really cool. It's a little bit more fashion forward, but the designer who makes these makes it look so awesome and I couldn't just say no to it. So it is a 100% virgin wool cape and it drapes on you like a cape would, almost like a poncho. I don't know, all I know is it looks really cool and it makes me feel like a ninja almost. I don't know, it's definitely different, it's definitely outside my box, but I am thoroughly, thoroughly happy with this purchase and I plan on wearing it a lot, especially in the winter because it keeps me very warm being 100% virgin wool. And last but not least for the clothing items at least is this custom suit right here that I got. Um, you guys have probably seen it in the Tokyo movie that I've done. You guys have probably seen it in some Instagram posts. This is going to be a 100% English wool flannel suit. Um, it is just absolutely amazing from my friends over at Taylor's Keep in San Francisco. I would definitely recommend stopping by and looking at some stuff, or at least checking out their story because they're amazing people. The craftsmanship that they do is absolutely fantastic and the culture that they want to introduce to the world is just amazing. I just I just can't speak enough good things about these people and I hope you'll be seeing a lot more from them and myself in the future. So big things coming, I promise. I've also fallen in love with a new uh, band is called Grow and Twine. They are absolutely amazing. They do kind of like indie folk I would say that's just what I call it I don't know what they call it but I love it I'll have them linked right there there's a SoundCloud profile and everything for you guys to check out also I have some Instagrammers that I've fallen in love with for instance the first one is Steven Onoja I don't know how to pronounce his last name I'm sorry if you watch this video uh, his feed is absolutely fantastic I'll have it right here for you guys so you can see it absolutely amazing his style his aesthetic everything is something that I um, I am inspired by and I'm motivated to try and be so I fully fully respect this man and I love his feed I think you guys would love it as well and the second one is classy chic style it is a female oriented uh, Instagram but this is exactly this is bagels this is like I what what I want my girlfriend to dress like and my future girlfriend future wife if you see this I love this kind of style on a, on a female, I'll have it right here for you guys to check as well. It's just so classic and timeless and chic and elegant, I don't know, I just love a girl that knows how to dress and I think if you guys like the same thing you would enjoy this uh, Instagram profile because I've been looking for one like this for a while and I finally found one. Alrighty guys, those are my winter favorites, I hope, oh the phone. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what your favorite is in the comments below. I'm sticking with that cologne. It is my absolute favorite. And those shoes. Those shoes are something that I cannot get off my feet. So I hope I see you guys on Thursday. I'm going to New York on Sunday. So if I see you in New York, stop stop me and say hi. Uh, I'll be walking around the meatpacking district, I think is what it's called. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Let me know what you guys liked, all right?